What's going on everybody? This is Urban J Reviews and today we're going to take a look at the Wayfarer Ray-Ban by Facebook. Okay, let's take a look. So as you can see, the glasses come in this heavy duty kit here. It looks like this is actually a chargeable kit. Let's see here. Looks like something that you would plug in. So we'll take a look at that. Two USB-C, three Thunderbolts. So as you can see right here, there's these brass metallic charging ports. They actually line up right here. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the charging. Okay, once you get the Facebook Ray-Ban stories charged up, uh, you need to go onto your phone and download the View app. So, we're now going to go into the View app and we're gonna follow the instructions, which it tells us right now to turn on the actual glasses here, right here. And you should actually see a light you could see the little blinking light right here in the corner that's what you're going to use to pair the app so uh, let's go ahead and do that now so it says start by turning on the glasses you hit next wait for the led to turn green okay so you can see right now we have green and once it's green it says the white led will blink up to a minute while your glasses turn on. When it turns solid green, you're ready to continue. So I'm gonna hit next. Put your glasses into pair mode. So in order to do that, you slide and hold the power switch for five seconds and release power switch. Let's slide that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see it's blue now. And if you look on my phone here, it says found. So I'm gonna hit select. And it's now activating the Bluetooth, so I need to pair on my phone here. So there was actually an update that was required. It says it's going to take two minutes, so it's updating my glasses now that it's paired. Uh, so it does come out of the box requiring an update, it appears. All right, so there is a Facebook Assistant. You can set it up. I'm going to hit Not Now, but basically that's going to allow you to use the Assistant to say, Hey, Facebook, take a video, or Hey, Facebook, take a picture. We're gonna hit not now for this one. Skip for now. You'll need to set up Facebook Assistant to get hands-free capture, calling and messaging. You can always set it up later in settings. Get to know your glasses. So it's taking you through the whole process of understanding where everything's at. Uh, that's also going to be right here. See, tells you where all the buttons are. They got capture, control playback, adjust volume, manage calls. Facebook Assistant, charging case LED, which we just went over. Here it is on the screen, just showing you where to go to take pictures. This button here, press and hold to take a photo. And you can see, you just scan through this, record a video. Press once to record a 30 second video. Press again to stop recording. The capture LED, the capture LED signals to others when you take a photo or video. So there's a light that'll blink right here when you take a photo or video. Capture free, hands free. Capture hands free, which is basically, you know, hey Facebook, take a photo using the assistant. I'm not using that voice automation right now. Play audio, listen to media from your phone and other apps, which is gonna be interesting to see how well that sounds. Uh, being that it's right there on my head. I don't know if other people can hear it or if it's just gonna be me. But I'm gonna go through the steps here. Adjust volume. So it looks like the volume is right around here. You can see the speakers on both sides. I don't know if you guys can see them up close like that. Take calls, the notification LED. White means active or recording. Green means ready to use. Orange means error or battery low. Red means glasses shutting down soon. Okay? 
so I've got the glasses on and I've now hit the button. By the way, guys, how do you think they look? I mean, do they look good? I think they look pretty cool. I feel like they uh, fit my face really well, so I'm pretty happy about the look. But let's go in front of the, the uh, mirror here. Okay, so I hear a beep. I double click, and that's one. And then however long I wait to push it again, stops the video. You gotta actually push the record. It's asking me to connect. All right, so that worked really good. Now let's go outside and walk around and see how it takes uh, the quality. All right, so here we are outside. We're gonna walk and see how good the stabilization is with these glasses. Yeah, so just to recap here, you can see this is where you get the Facebook View app. So they got it for Android, uh, Google Play, and iOS. Also, another rate recap of where all the Ray-Ban Stories buttons are, just in case you forget. As far as glasses go, they do have a good tint, so they function just like a regular pair of Ray-Ban. I think they look really good, actually, uh, from my experience. And the fact that they have that camera, uh, that really doesn't stand out. So, I mean, you can record video and no one will really even know unless they know about these glasses. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for society, but uh, they are like a pair of spy glasses, really. Just some things to know about these Facebook Wayfarer glasses. If you have medical devices that are attached to you, you're definitely going to want to read the medical warnings for that. So do pay attention to that if you have a pacemaker or something like a hearing aid. I don't know exactly what you may have, but you might want to look into the uh, situation with that. You need a Facebook account for this. Uh, you also need a mobile phone because it does pair with a mobile phone. Um, I would say overall, uh, it appears to be in HD, at least 1080. I don't know what the exact resolution is because they've done a pretty good job of hiding that information. It doesn't say anywhere on any of these, uh, at least these initial things that I've looked at, what the resolution is. But I'm assuming it's at least a 1080, so it's HD, um, which is okay because on Facebook, they don't even allow you to upgrade or upload 4K videos from what I can tell. Uh, overall, I would say that for $299, this thing is going to get the job done and it's going to be fairly stable. It appears to have built-in stabilization. The glasses are functional. They look good. Um, overall, yeah, I mean, if you can afford it, go for it. I did buy another pair of glasses for $50 on Amazon just to compare against these, which I have not yet tried out. So we'll see how that works. But yeah, I'll try to put a link below to these exact glasses if you guys want to try them out. I couldn't get them in the store. They say that you can get them at a physical store. I had to order them online. It took about four days to get here, five days to get here. That's business days, by the way. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching Urban J Reviews, and we'll see you on the next one. <music>